Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. And yesterday I made a video about using the color eyedropper tool to make colors or continue colors into another object. And the viewer subscriber suggested using Shift, Control, and E. But it's not the color eyedropper. So I'm going to hold down the Shift, Control, E, and then sample my color. And it's going to put it in the one I had selected. That is pretty cool but it, it is a sample of a mesh feel type deal. It's working, but it's also a three key hotkey. So that ends, to me doesn't save you any time when you could do that with your mouse. Now, if we could make this a one key hot stroke, that might be pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is go to tools. We're gonna try this, go to options and customization and go to commands and uh, Type in sample mesh color fill, and you see I tried to shift E or control E. Let's take that and delete it, and let's add a new one. I'm trying to think of a letter that we do not use, and K is not used. So we're going to assign it and then say OK. So now we're going to select this, and we're going to hit the letter K, and then we're gonna take a sample. So that makes it a one key stroke, saves you a lot of time. You know, if you have an object and you just hit K, sample it, and it could be any color. You know, I don't have to have that. And the reason for that, instead of going over here, this color isn't in my color palette because I made it. So we're gonna add a little, I'm gonna hold down the control button, I'm gonna add a little yellow to it. Then I'm gonna add a little green and add a little red, make it a really weird, different color. So I'm going to hit the letter K and sample it, and it's going to turn my selected item into that color. That does make sense, I think, the viewer, but that, to me, is not a shortcut. I mean, that's that's hard to do. It's, all, it's actually a two-hand, for me at least. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.